sometimes winning a small claims judgment is not the end of the story. Either your client is unhappy or the other side is unhappy. There is an appeal procedure for small claims and you can find what little we have about it in Iowa Code section 631.13. Essentially, here's how it works. The party who wants to appeal needs to fill out the small claims form. Uh, it's a standard form from the Supreme Court and file that with the district court as a new case generally or within the small claims case. You may wanna check with your local clerk and they're gonna to have to pay a $185 filing fee. Once it's docketed, then the case is gonna to go to essentially the next judge up the ladder. So if your small claim was heard by a magistrate, it's probably gonna to go to a district associate judge. If it was heard by a district associate judge, it's probably gonna go up to a district judge. If for some reason you had a district judge hear your small claim, it's gonna be heard by a different district judge in that district. A lot of people wanna give more evidence at their appeal because they weren't prepared for their small claims hearing. The important thing to know is that getting to present more evidence at an appeal is actually an extraordinary remedy. The code section says that the appeal is to be heard on the evidence already presented unless the reviewing judge thinks that the evidence is inadequate. So if you are appealing and you believe that the record is inadequate, you need to do a motion for the court to allow you to reopen the record and you need to give a really good argument as to why that evidence is inadequate. On the other side, if the individual appealing wants to reopen it, you've got a pretty easy argument. You just say, Your Honor, the code says you don't, and they haven't given me a great reason. Make them give you a good reason so the judge can actually rule on that. You're going to want to make sure that is dealt with before the hearing. In my experience, most judges hearing a small claims appeal are not willing to entertain that kind of an argument at the hearing. The other thing that's important to know is that you don't have an automatic right to file a brief. If you want to brief the legal issue for the judge, you need to file a motion asking for permission to file a brief. I have never had one of those denied. The judges generally will grant it. If they do grant it, make sure you give them a succinct brief that hits the issue you're going after. The other issue is the record. Most small claims in Iowa are done by using a recorder in the courtroom. That recording is going to go to the judge who's hearing the appeal, and in my experience, they listen to it before the hearing. You can also offer them a transcription of that if you think it's going to help them. I've done that on a couple of tricky ones. Uh, you can pay to have a court reporter do it. You could also do an unofficial transcription and just offer that as an exhibit. Uh, that's been accepted in a couple of my cases. Once you get to the hearing, be ready to move fast. The judges do not allot much time for these. If you're dealing with a pro se party on the other side, make sure that you're listening carefully to what they're saying so that you can object to any new evidence and you can object to any improper arguments. Pro se parties are huge fans <laughs> of trying to offer additional evidence. And it's often because they just do not understand this process. So be polite, but be firm. Your Honor, I'm sorry, but Mrs. Jones has started to offer additional evidence and that's not allowed at this hearing. Make your objection. In my experience, the judges are gonna say, you know what? Ms. Thompson is correct. I'm sorry, I can't hear that. Whether the judge gives you an oral ruling or a written ruling uh, is going to depend on that judge. If it's a pretty simple thing, they're going to tell you right there after your 10 or 15 minute hearing, here's what I'm doing, and then they'll issue their written order later. If it's a little more complicated, they may take it under advisement and then issue their order. That's the basics of your first level of small claims appeal. After that, you're looking at a discretionary appeal up to the Court of Appeals and Supreme Courts and it gets a little bit more complicated and the odds are that you're not going to get that accepted. So good luck.